You are listening to the Atlanta Real Estate Forum radio show, Around Atlanta edition. Showcasing the best of Metro Atlanta, our communities, the attractions, and the special events that make Atlanta great. Welcome to our virtual town square. And now, here are today's hosts. Good morning and welcome back to the Around Atlanta edition. I am your host, Todd Schnick, joined by my friend and colleague, Carol Morgan. Uh, Before we begin, we do want to thank New American Funding for being our 2021 show sponsor, now our 10th year on the air. It has been wonderful having them as our partner this year. All right, Carol Morgan, I know this is the most absolute favoritist thing of yours, Broadway shows, all this great stuff. I know you're excited about this one. I am very excited about this. It's always fun to have Russ Bellin in studio with us. So welcome back, Russ. Thank Uh, you for having me back. Absolutely. He is the vice president of the Southeast region for Broadway across America. And we're very fortunate to have Russ here in Atlanta. And he's going to tell us all about Broadway and what's going on in Atlanta this year. But first, just go ahead and dive in and tell us a little bit about yourself, Russ. All right. Well, again, thanks for having me on. This is awesome. It's been now a couple of years. We've had an interesting few years, but about me, I'm, uh, I've been in Atlanta for 12 years. I live with my family in Petrie Corners. I got a uh, 12-year-old, an 8-year-old. My wife, Kelly, is also, uh, she's the skating director at the Center Ice. So we kind of, a little bit of entertainment and sports for all of us. But, uh, and I got my two dogs here as well. So yeah, 12 years in Atlanta, I came down with um entertainment with Disney and Ice Ringling Brothers and then switched over to Broadway across America. So I handle my, well, my team handles the subscriptions, the marketing, uh, presenting at all the Broadway shows at the Fabulous Fox Theater. Well, it might be one of the funnest jobs in America. So I uh, uh, am envious uh, of your work. So Broadway across America, for those listening who are not familiar with what that's all about, uh, remind us, please. Okay, so Broadway Across America, we have 47 markets across the U.S., and we're, uh, we present the, the best of Broadway direct from New York. So in Atlanta, we present the Fox Theater. They're, they're our partner, uh, and we are kind of the middleman. So we work with the producers to uh, secure the shows and then work with the Fox to secure the dates where we can fill these uh, seasons out. So typically, we bring in 10 to 12 uh productions a a year and present them at the Fox Theater. It is the fabulous Fox. I'm looking forward to this year's season, which kicks off pretty soon. Um, Of course, the last year has been crazy. So tell us a little bit about how you survived. Man, uh, you know, how we survived. I I say personally, I wish I had the interesting stories like I picked up beekeeping or anything like that, (laughs) but it it didn't happen for me. I think uh, I focused on the family. Uh, we definitely played it safe. You know, my, my industry was hit obviously really hard. And, uh, so for me, I, I kind of want to do everything I could. So we, uh, we did a lot of outdoor activities, uh, a lot of family stuff. I, we still played the sport. So, you know, anything outside I was fine with. And, uh, and then we did pick up a second dog. So maybe in April we adopted a puppy, uh, to keep our older one, uh, entertained and he's entertained us. So, you know, we, we try to keep, try to keep busy, but it was, uh, it was an interesting year. So then on the work front, uh, you know, it's 550 days since we presented our last show. It was uh, February. It was Hello Dolly, February 2019 or yeah, 2020. Um, so yeah, for someone who is used to being at the theater all the time around crowds, you know, our, our job is to bring people together to make memories. That 18 months has been weird not to have that feeling. Uh, So it's been, uh, during that time, it's been a lot of uh, different projects, a lot of working on the routing. You know, we went through a lot of times where at first we actually rescheduled Hamilton thinking we were going to open August of 2020. So, you know, we were like, yes, we were able to move it back just three months and then quickly quickly we realized that's just not going to happen. So we went through quite a few changes uh, from when we thought we'd we begin. And then it finally came out more about the vaccine and the rollout. And, and it really was like, you know, we're not gonna be able to uh, uh, open safely until at least the vaccine is available to all. So uh, so a lot of time was spent on that, going back and forth, and then and then planning, managing our subscribers, our season ticket holders, 
uh, trying to keep them informed of what was going on. And, and over that time, you know, that's really is what's pushed my team through and made us feel the best is the support we got for our season ticket holders. I mean, they, very few dropped their season. They all stuck with us. We've heard many times how excited they are to come back. They understand the situation. I mean, most, most left if they, if they moved or something changed, you know, for that reason, not because of um, what was going on with the pandemic. So we're very thankful for our season ticket holders. That's awesome. Well, goodness. So coming out of the gate with Hamilton, I mean, I, I guess if you had to sketch out a, a reemergence, uh, that's a, probably a good way to do it. I agree with you. I think, you know, we, we have Hamilton now through September 26th uh, and Hamilton probably was the right show for us to return. People kind of build their schedules around shows like Hamilton. It, it's the second time it's been in Atlanta. It's a mega, it's, uh, you know, won so many Tonys. So we are very fortunate that that's the one that brought us back. I think it's more special to our series, more special to the Fox to have, you know, 4,500 people in there all wearing masks. I mean, that's a requirement for sure with going on. Uh, so we're, we're operating safely, but enjoying, enjoying what Hamilton is. Yeah. So for our listeners who aren't familiar with Hamilton, give them that 30,000 foot view. Okay. There's like two so, it's so hard. No, Hamilton is, is uh, the story by Lin-Manuel Miranda. It won uh, multiple Tonys back, I think in 2015 when it uh, premiered, but it's basically uh, America then told by America now. Uh, so it's, it's the story of Hamilton and his um, start as, as really as an immigrant uh, from a small island in the Caribbean and, and coming to the United States and, and changing government, you know, ch- working with Thomas Jefferson, Washington, uh, building our treasury and all he, he uh, developed to make this country successful and just told in a unique story with hip hop dance. Uh, it's unique, you know, it's something, if you're not familiar, you really got to see it, but uh, it's, it's a spectacle. And I hope oh, and Todd's going it's to based, go. so go. it's based on this book by Ron, Ron. Chernow. And, uh, but the way that Lynn Manuel kind of does the hip hop uh, treatment to it is just, uh, is just pretty quite fascinating. You know, and I'm, I, I, let me just take editorial privilege here. And uh, so <laughs> one, of the, one of the neat things about the pandemic was that Disney Plus did unveil the, the production of it with the, with the original cast. Correct. Which, you know, was was great to see, you know, because uh, the productions I've seen were not the original cast. So it was neat to see that. But let me just say this. Doesn't even compare to the live experience. No, I agree. I think so. If you think you've seen the Disney Plus presentation with the original cast, that's worth seeing. But you haven't seen Hamilton yet. If that's your only exposure, no, it's it's an awesome opportunity to uh, give Hamilton to a larger audience and introduce it. But you know, Broadway is meant to be seen live. You know, and I think that's been a struggle with us being down for eighteen months. We couldn't really put the stuff on streaming. You don't get that same connection. So. Yeah, I'm I'm happy they put on Disney Plus. I think it was a great experience, but I think those people now will want to see it live. And and the original cast or or the cast that's going now, they're all professionals. They're all amazing. Uh, how they can play Aaron Burr's role, Hamilton's role, it, it doesn't matter. You you'll be impressed by everyone in the cast. And and we have um a couple of Atlanta natives, so you know I think hopefully people will come out and support some of their own. Yeah, I, you know, I love Hamilton. We'll talk a little bit about your next show. So after Hamilton, we've got Fiddler on the Roof. All right, so I, well, I should say this is all part of our 40th anniversary season. So it's 40, 40 years, 1981, uh, we presented the presented first at the, in, in Atlanta. Uh, so all these shows are part of that. And Fiddler on the Roof is technically the first one in the season. Hamilton was a special carryover really from the right. pre-pandemic. But uh, Fiddler on the Roof is that classic Broadway revival one. Uh, Tony's when it was revived, but it's been around, I think, close to 50 years now. And it's got all the music you love. Matchmaker, Matchmaker, uh, Fiddler on the Roof. If I were a rich man, it's a celebration of life. And actually, you know, coming out of what's going on, I think, you know, Fiddler is a great timely piece Perfect to, one. to life. Yeah. So, um, so it's got comedy it's got the classic music it's certainly for families a great piece to introduce uh younger kids to to broadway as well as as old i mean you will see a a large spectacle uh a large great age range for sure 
Ready to take the next step in becoming a homeowner? New American Funding can make it happen. New American Funding is a nationally recognized direct lender for residential home loans. Real estate agents and builders love New American Funding because of their in-house processing, 14 business day close guarantee, and the servicing of their loans. They will work tirelessly to help you achieve home ownership, backed by thousands of five-star reviews from their customers and with convenient branch locations. More and more residents trust them to close their loans on time. Call New American Funding at 678-898-3540 to start your home buying journey today. Let me be sure I heard you correctly. This is the 40th season? Yeah, this is Broad, Fifth Third Bank's Broadway and Lena's 40th anniversary season. Oh, uh, congratulations on that. Yeah. That's uh, that's great. Uh, what else can we expect looking further down the calendar for this 40th season? Well, as I said, we have... Um, we this have is for Carol's titles. benefit, by the way. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> I have tickets. You, I know what's coming. <laughs> yeah, she, she's going to be there either way. <laughs> no, we have uh, six season titles. Uh, and then four specials, so 10 titles. And I won't go through all of them. You can find them at broadwayandatlanta.com. But if I was to highlight a few, I think I would start with Ain't Too Proud, The Life and Times of the Temptations. And if jo- it follows their story from Detroit to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And really no Motown group has been as influential as, as uh, The Temptations. From the, from the music to their choreography, uh, you'll hear all of the songs, you know, Just My Imagination, Get Ready. It's just a feel good, keep you on the edge of your seats story. And, and, uh, and I think it's going to do really well in Atlanta. I'm really excited. So hopefully that one, I believe is later in the year. Um, I think March, uh, with the, some other ones, I, I got to touch on Dizzy frozen. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Atlanta loves Disney. We've all been waiting on that one. We've been waiting on that one as well. And yeah, that's 20, I think 2013 was the movie. So it's been a while, but mm-hmm. it took some time to get the staging right. And, uh, and it's Disney magic. So there's transformations from when Elsa uh, you know, dress becomes what it becomes. The, the magic there and the Disney magic is, is just amazing. So that's one that will be celebrated by the young and the old. Obviously, we want to see tons of kids out there. We're going to have lots of little princesses in the audience. I can already lots predict that. So it'll be like Cinderella. Everyone's going to dress up. So we'll see a lot of Elsa, Anna. Yep. Hopefully, uh, some of the little boys will be there as well. And uh, but no, yeah, it has all the original music, which you know, I think maybe eight songs. But to fill a Broadway show, you need close to twenty. So they wrote a bunch of original wow. uh, music for oh, wow. Frozen to keep the story, and even uh, and added some extra scenes, you know, to really. Uh, so the scene I'm trying to think of is when they're um, when they're buying the supplies from the Nordic. Mm-hmm. I, so they've expanded that scene and it's uh, just 100% co- comedy. Uh, That'll be fun. I yeah, like fun. him. So that's Frozen. And then one more one more I would say is Mean Girls coming in oh. July. So based on the movie by Tina Fey, it's uh, it's just, if you love the movie, you're going to love the play. It's so, the perfect girls' night out. It is girls' it, night Well, out. <laughs> I will say, I will agree with you, Carol. Uh, and I was uh, dragged kicking, screaming to that show on Broadway uh, okay. in New York City and uh, thinking I was going to just be bored off my my rocker. And it was a it was a lot of fun. Uh, uh, I was one of the few males <laughs> I think, in, the, in the theater. But oh, my God, and 4000 women. <laughs> yeah, so there were there were advantages. It, it, it was a really fun night uh, and funny. And and again, it's different than than the movie. The movie is intriguing and it's different. But so the, the this experience was a lot of fun. So whenever they add music, it, it brings in a little bit of uh, a different element and they'll tug at your heartstrings. But the comedy is going to be there. And and again, like you know, I, I like, you know, I like the originals. Obviously, I like Hamilton, but you know, the shows like Mean Girls, based on movies, or we have Tootsie as well. It's uh, you know, it's easier to understand what's going to happen, but you can go there and not think, and you're going to have a good time. And I think, uh, I think it's just it's it's just a lot of fun. So I'm excited how we were able to put these shows together. I, I was nervous. I mean, coming out being closed for 18 months, I, I didn't know what the season was going to look right. like. So for us to be able to secure the six titles on season and then four specials to be able to bring 
10 shows to the Fox Theater. And, and really, that's one of the most exciting things is just getting back in the Fox. I mean, we have the, the Grinch during the holidays. I mean, what better place to be in Atlanta than the Fox Theater during the holidays? Absolutely. Um, and then just building building memories there. So I'm, I'm excited that we're going to help get the Fox doors reopen and, and get our audiences back there. Any sneak peek into the following year season or have you started working on it yet? We, we are starting to work on it. But again, because of uh, the delays and in, in getting this show built um, and making sure some other productions are good out, it'll take a little time. I think we'll probably announce in March, but okay. uh, it is looking very strong from the from the few times we, we see are coming. So well, no, is Atlanta is one of, one of the best markets. We're always going to be... Um, at the forefront of the producers' minds on, on what shows they want to get here, get the best hits from New York straight here. And, and we thank broad, we thank the Atlanta audience for being supportive and giving putting us in that position. Well, I was uh, I'm glad you mentioned uh, again the Fox. Uh, because if you if you're listening to this and you've never been, that alone is worth uh, the experience because that is an amazing place. And and uh, Atlantans, uh, I hope they realize how fortunate they are to be able to experience these amazing productions at the fabulous Fox. So that, that, that's a, that's a character in this whole thing in its own right, you know, so it's true. very it's a big, big piece of it. It's beautiful. Yeah, no doubt about it. All right. Well, we got to get rolling to the next conversation, uh, but Russ, before we let you go, should anyone need to connect with you and uh, get more information on this amazing schedule of this upcoming season, uh, starting with Hamilton, where do they go? Yeah, the easiest place is broadwayinatlanta.com, but I'd always encourage people to follow us at, at, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at broadwayinatlanta.com, and uh, that will give you information on what's happening locally, what's happening in New York, uh, and how to secure tickets. So we hope uh, we hope to see you there. All right. Russ Bellin, Vice President, Southeast Region, Broadway Across America. Russ, again, thanks for joining us. Good luck and break a leg. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Carol. I'll see you soon. All right. That wraps this week's Around Atlanta edition. On behalf of our show sponsor, New American Funding, my co-host, Carol Morgan, I am Todd Schnick. That's all the time that we have for today. Thank you for tuning in and listening, and we look forward to seeing you again right here next week. We'll see you then. Atlanta Real Estate Forum Radio is made possible by Denim Marketing, the publisher of Atlanta Real Estate Forum, Atlanta's favorite source for real estate and home building news. Denim Marketing is a comfortable fit, like your favorite pair of jeans. Denim Marketing tailors marketing strategies to meet your specific needs and niche. Try them on for size. They will work to create a perfect fit for your company's marketing program. Call them at 770-383-3360 or send an email to info at denimmarketing.com. For more information on Atlanta Real Estate Forum Radio or to inquire about being a guest, contact info at atlantarealestateforum.com. Check out the radio show by visiting atlantarealestateforum.com or by listening to the show on your favorite podcast app. And if you enjoyed today's broadcast, we'd sure appreciate a rating and review on iTunes. Thank you again for listening. And we'll see you next time on Atlanta Real Estate Forum Radio.